Okay. I sort of have a seat in the chair. Make sure you uh, put the chair as close to my phone as you can <coughs> and talk loud enough so that everybody can hear you. Okay. Yes, sir. Good. Good. Can you state your full name for the record, please? Arthur Morris Gibson. And Mr. Gibson, where do you work? City of Gulf Breeze. Back in February of 2017, where did you live? On Nine Mile Road at Leisure Lake RV Park. It's a pretty good chunk of land. Okay. Um, woods, ponds? Woods, ponds. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And back at that time in February of 2017, did you have some game cameras set up in the woods out there? I did. I had two. What is, um, what's a game camera? It's a camera that's motion censored, take pictures of uh, wildlife to review to go back and try to hunt deer. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Okay, and then are you able to download those pictures onto like a thumb drive or a computer? Yes, ma'am. Has an S I'm it, sorry? it has an SD card in it. You okay. remove it from the camera and plug it into a computer. Okay. Did you monitor um, your game cameras on a regular basis back then? Yes, ma'am. Two or three times a week. Now, did there come a time when your cameras actually caught some people? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay. And do you remember, um, do you remember the day? Super Bowl Sunday. Do you remember specifically what date that was? Uh, no, ma'am. Okay. Um, was the date reflected on your game camera? Yes, ma'am. And um, did you go check the cameras on the Super Bowl Sunday? I did. Okay. And what did you see, if anything? Well, when I checked my camera, brought it back, plugged it in, checked it, I seen two uh, individuals walking through my corn pile. Through your corn pile? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> From the city. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. And um, where... Where did you see them, just walking in that general area where you had the camera set up? They were coming from like the south, headed north. <clears throat> right. um, when you were out there on your property, did you ever actually see them yourself other than on your game camera? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and when was that? That was between like noon and four okay. on Super Bowl Sunday. All right, and where, um, was it the same people that were captured on your camera? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and where did you see them at that point? They were headed west, going into the woods off the property. Okay, um, and what did you do at that point? I hollered at them and asked them what they were doing and get off the property. Okay, and what did they do? Kept walking west. All right, and we keep saying they. Um, can you describe these individuals? Uh, there was an older gentleman gray hair wearing a blue jacket long sleeve shirt and a, a hispanic or indian looking person wearing an orange sweatshirt jacket did either one of them say anything to you no ma'am
Is that approving the Good afternoon. Please state your name, please. Uh, it's Wayne Wright. Where are you employed? Uh, the Office of the State Attorney. What are your duties at the Office of the State Attorney? Uh, I'm an investigator. And are you in um, homicide section? Yes, ma'am. Homicide major crimes. <coughs> Do you have the unfortunate task of having work with me? I have the very pleasant task of working <laughs> with you. Uh, where did you work before the Office of the State Attorney? Uh, the Scammy County Sheriff's Office. And how long were you there? Uh, eight years. I'm going to take you to January 31st, 2017. Were you assigned to assist in what started as a death investigation at Emerald Sands? Yes, ma'am. And did you actually respond to that scene on January 31st? Yes, ma'am. Did you stay involved through the arrest of Mary Rice? Yes, ma'am. And um, were you asked to follow up with some things after her arrest? Yes, I was. Okay, did you travel to Georgia? I did. When um, and for what? Uh, I went to Georgia on February 8th, and I was requested to uh, transport uh, Miss Mary Rice back to uh, the uh, Santa Rosa County. Okay. And was there anyone with you and Mrs. Rice? Mrs. Rice? Uh, yes, ma'am. One of our other investigators, uh, Renee Ryan. How long were you in the car? I estimate probably three and a half hours or so. Were you able to, to get a good look at her physical appearance? Uh, yes, ma'am. Right. Did you also view um, Mary Rice's phone records and Facebook records in this case? Yes, ma'am, I did. Did they contain pictures of herself? Yes. And were you also familiar with what William Billy Boyle looked like? Yes, I was. All right. So after Ms. Rice's arrest and transport, were you tasked to go through photos of receipts in this case? Yes. And when you would find a particular photograph of a receipt, what would you then do at that point? Uh, I would attempt to contact the, uh, the store, the business where the receipt originated from, and see if I could obtain a security video. You have states 45, or excuse me, 44, 45, and 47 in front of you. Do you recognize those particular exhibits? Yes, ma'am, I did. And did you review them as part of your duties in the state of Florida versus Mary Rice? I did. Did you request a video of surveillance based on each of those receipts in those exhibits? Yes, ma'am, I did. Okay, so I want to start in chronological order. Um, what's your first <coughs> receipt um, chronologically? Uh, first one would be for a uh, CVS pharmacy in Longwood, Florida. And the date? Uh, that was on January 31st. The time? I believe that was 12.33 p.m. on the receipt. Okay, and that's going to be Eastern time, correct? Yes, that's Eastern time. Zone. Are you familiar with the um, general central Florida area? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and um, where is Longwood, Florida, if you know distance wise? Uh, it's approximately six and a half, seven hours from uh, Milton, Florida, or from Santa Rosa County. Uh, it's located just a little bit north of the Orlando area. And what about Ocala and Altamont Springs? Uh, Altamont Springs is very close to Longwood. I think it's only 10 or 15 minutes south. Uh, Ocala is, I think, probably an hour, hour and a half away. Uh, <coughs> be north, northwest of uh, the uh, Longwood, Florida area. Did you um, request video surveillance from that CVS based on the receipt in um, 
Uh, yes, ma'am, but it's case 44. Okay. And did, um, it's 44? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Sorry, get my numbers and stuff. Um, did, did CBS personnel send you video surveillance um, that course, corresponded with that receipt? They did. Did you view the video surveillance? I did. And did you see anyone that looked like either Billy Boyette or Mary Rice? Yes, ma'am. Okay. 